Hey everybody, welcome back to the Decimal Works channel. And I know it's been a while, but hey, real life gets in the way and making these videos for you takes time that I've just not had of late. So today we are going to get back on it. Let's just give a quick update where we are with the projects. So today we'll be working on the Ducati 848 engine. I've got the 748 engine for a customer that is still on hold that we had the damaged cases for. Likewise, he's been very busy and has not been able to get over the parts that we need to continue that piece of work. But I'm hoping to start cleaning up the heads in the meantime, so I'll possibly film that. Maybe not, it, it just depends on how far I wanna go with that whilst waiting on the parts. So let's talk about today's video. So today I am back on to the Ducati 848 engine and if you'll remember we found some damage in the gearbox which I need to address before we can reassemble the engine. Okay so if you remember let's take this gear wheel away here if you remember we had damage on this gear wheel if you can just make out the little marks in the faces of the teeth there which bizarrely didn't correspond on the opposite gear wheel here which I suppose is a, is a lucky piece for the owner um, because normally if you see damage in one tooth you see it replicate on the other tooth that's normally how transmission damage occurs but we might have caught this one early enough in that it might be a small manufacturing defect on this wheel that's caused these little bits of breakaway that you can see or we've just caught it early enough that it's not reciprocated the damage because it's not been done under enough load so the aim today's video, nice short one, is we're going to take that gear wheel off and replace it with the new one that has turned up. So, make sure we've got the right one. It looks reasonably the same. We'll just do a double check once we get it off. So that's our new gear wheel what you should just do is just have a quick look and have a feel you want to make sure that there's no sort of burrs or sharp edges on the dogs just make sure that little chamfers are there on each of the dogs and then on the internal face just make sure no pitting or signs of damage and again on the very edges of the gear wheel just feel for any burrs so that that wheels looking good it should do because it's brand new let's put that gearbox output shaft aside so we're working on the clutch shaft and we need to get this gear wheel off now it should be noted that on the shafts there are some fixed gear wheels um, so this being a fixed one I it's part of the shaft and then everything else is removable but they're held in by snap rings and bits and pieces so we have to make sure that we can get all of that off new snap rings to use and new spacing washers as well so first thing we need to do is we need to get the top hat off from the bearing now sometimes these just pop off nice and easily and other times they can be a bit of a pain. So let's just get something to leave that up with. Just going to use a gear wheel puller just to There we go. So that's just the cap out of the bearing. So put that aside. Then got a spacer washer. First gear wheel. And then we get to the difficult piece. So you'll see that there's a snap ring there. We've got to pop that off to get this gear off. Okay. Okay, the snap rings are quite awkward to get off. So what I do, little picker just underneath to open the gap up. Then a set of circlet pliers. And 
just walk the clip off. So that's off and you can see a little bit of wear which is why you replace it so it's just where it's impacted into the back of the gear wheels during gear changes plus it's slightly deformed where we've taken it off so always use a new one so that's for the bin gear wheel now comes off you can see the washer there that's a once only item as well, so we put that aside. And now you can see the teeth, and you can see wear marks where it's been smashing backwards and forwards against the other gears. Got some obviously some marking on the dogs. Actually, it's not too well, there's a bit of excessive wear on that dog, and that one as well, actually. And this is where you get that feeling that it can jump in. Oh, and there's some really sharp burrs on there as well. So it's a good replacement. But I said that, the real reason we're replacing it is because of the gear teeth damage that we've got going around, which is early signs of failure. You know, so that would eventually propagate into a crack and lose a bit of your tooth, smash your gearbox to pieces and... Um, full engine rebuild so we caught that nice and early what you see there now is also the bearing that that gear runs on I'm going to leave that washer in because I don't want to damage the bearing just pulling that out and let's just offer up the new gear wheel see if it fits it does just check it meshes correctly yeah okay so just before I put that in a little bit of build oil just for added lubrication because this has not had any real oil on it give that a bit of a spin make sure we've got nice coverage on that a new washer drop that in new snap ring Rear on. Then slide down and it should just snap into place. Just check that that's fully seated. Pushing it round, yep. Yeah. You just want to check that it's definitely under the gear teeth all the way round. That's that snap ring on. Reassemble. Large washer again. Gear piece. Might have to tap that on. So soft mallet. There we have it. One new gear wheel fitted to the 848 gearbox. That will mesh up with that side so all good nicely sits in there no issues with its rotations, no binding 
nice smooth no rocking jobs done okay there we had it very quick video on how to change a gear wheel on your gear set if you find damage you don't have to buy a complete new gear set or second hand gear set just to replace one wheel the process is pretty much the same as you go down through the gearbox you'll notice there's the new snap ring that we fitted but there's another one just behind the gear wheel that we fitted that enables you to get this off and there's another one just there that enables you to get that one off and a similar process for the other gear shaft as well if you want to change them it's just all held in by snap rings all along so hope that, that made sense okay there we go so the gearbox is now finished on the 848 so what i'm going to be doing off camera is i'm going to clean up the cases which are just a little bit dirty so that we can get the whole of the bottom end ready to reassemble i'll also be doing the uh shell bearings on the crank and the com rods but um we've done that in other videos before so that will only be a case of plastic aging up to make sure they fit i'll stick a link somewhere up here to show you where i've done that in a, another engine rebuild if you want to if you want to just check that out but i hope you enjoyed that quick little video on how to change a gear wheel on your gear set if you've got any questions or comments stick them in the section down below and i'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible if you like that video chuck us a like because it will really help with the youtube algorithm and if you're not a subscriber to the channel please hit that subscribe button down there hit the notification bell because there will be more content coming i really want to try and get this channel to grow a bit more now thanks for watching see you at the next video cheers then bye